Gruesome killings in the Ukrainian town of Bucha have produced new momentum for the West to hold Russia accountable. The European Union and Ukraine have launched a new probe into the potential war crimes in the Kiev suburbs of Bucha, where bodies were found strewn in the streets. France too has launched three separate inquiries over possible war crimes in Ukraine. The European Union is facing rising pressure to accept a painful economic hit by totally cutting off Russian oil, coal, chemicals and wood exports. The ban on coal will be worth around 4 billion euros a year. If the ban gets approved by member states, it would be the first one adopted by the bloc on any energy import from Russia. Meanwhile, sources claim that Germany, which is heavily dependent on Russian energy, has agreed to support a phased EU embargo on coal imports. Now the bloc wants to reduce Moldova's exposure to Russia. Europe's poorest country relies on Russia for its energy supplies too. So Germany has decided to extend a no-strings-attached 50 million euro loan to help Moldova deal with the emerging refugee and energy crisis. We want to strengthen our cooperation with Moldova beyond immediate needs for the long term. Together with our Moldovan partners, we want to assess how we can help reduce Moldova's dependency on Russia economically, financially and with view to energy needs and to strengthen the country's resilience. More countries have joined other European nations in expelling Russian diplomats from their shores. The Scandinavian nation of Sweden will expel three Russian diplomats for spying charges. Italy, meanwhile, has expelled 30 Russian diplomats because of security concerns. And Denmark has said it would expel 15 Russian diplomats over brutal killings of civilians near Kiev. Russian officials say the latest accusations levelled against them are groundless. The Kremlin says that the images from Butcher were staged by Ukraine. The West is unwilling to intervene directly in Ukraine and risk a disastrous clash with Russia. Ukrainian officials are calling for greater action from the West. That some feel current sanctions may starve funding for the war, but might not stop the killings or attacks.